if you're out, make sure to be trying shallow water. Got one working me. He came in, left, came in, left. He's gone again, but we'll see if he comes back. He's back. Oh, that time he bit. Oh yeah, that's a good one. What is going on guys? We are back on another episode of DC Bronzies. I am Tyler. If you are new, feel free to subscribe down below. I would really appreciate that. I am out on the Bay of Green Bay today. I'm um, trying to get some whitefish. I've gone out, I think this is my third or fourth time out uh, this year. So far it's been slow for the times that we've been out, but man, I've already got four on the ice and I'm marking a ton of fish. It's, I'm pretty, I'm pretty jacked because it's been a while since I've had this many white fish marking and much less than catching because I haven't, like I said, I haven't been able to find the fish lately. So this is super sweet. We're gonna get to it. I've already got some GoPro clips for you guys that you're gonna see right now. And um, yeah, we're just gonna get to fishing. Out of nowhere and just hit it. Big ones. That's a good start. Yeah. Alright, guys, we're getting into them. Still haven't even done an intro. We've got two whitefish so far. Better morning starting out than it has been in a while. There's a school on me. smaller than the first but it's a fish on the slider again there we go guys I think this is on the Z Viber Alright, I'm gonna go grab this fish. This is my first one that I got. Pretty long one. Not a bad one. Obviously, we're bleeding the fish out. Popping the gills. So we got a pile of four fish. Not too bad. Alright, guys, a couple things I wanted to mention before going over um, what rig we are using. Um, first of all, I just wanted to say, um, if you're out, make sure to be trying shallow water. And by that I mean between five and eight feet of water. Um, we were out in 15 feet out there for quite a bit today. We got one fish, didn't mark a whole lot. We've been catching the majority of our fish in seven feet of water. On top of that, another thing that you want to make sure you're doing is drilling a bunch of holes in one area so that you can hole hop if the weather's good enough, obviously. But ideally, you want to keep moving around because I'm picking up fish from hole to hole. I go to one hole, drop down, get a fish, nothing, nothing left there. I go to some other holes. As soon as I go to that hole, I get another fish. It's kind of sporadic, at least right now. Make sure that you're moving around. You get a lot of holes, especially in that shallower water that you can try out. Another thing that you want to keep, keep an eye out for is the zebra mussels, making sure that you're fishing an area either where there's like a rock to sand transition, zebra mussels, some sort of um, uh, kind of, not necessarily structure, but you know something on the bottom that the whitefish are keying on because they're going to be eating those gobies those small little crustaceans on the bottom of the lake so that's what you want to be looking for for these whitefish oh my dad's on we're gonna go get 
Oh, oh he popped up. <laughs> nice. Um, was that on the slider too? Um, no. Chicken wrap. All right. Nice. So that is our nine. Ninth white fish of the day. Um, and now I'm going to show you guys what we're using. All right, guys. I'm going to show you what I'm using right now. My dad's using something a little bit different, but it's the same type of rig. I'm sure many of you know out here in Green Bay, you use a slider rig, which is essentially, I'll show, show it up close to this here in a sec, is essentially a spoon or a jig and wrap. Um, in this case, I've got a gold spoon on, but you're gonna have a spoon with the hook up above, and I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. All right guys, so this is what we're working with. I've got a number three, actually sorry, number two gold, Swedish pimple on with just some wax worms on there. Above that, we've got a swivel which ideally would be higher up, maybe about a foot from your spoon to the swivel. I've got about, I don't know, maybe eight inches or so, maybe a little bit more than that, 10. So I've got the swivel right there, and above that, you're using a hook. You're just making it so that that hook is facing up and you put a wax worm on there. The whitefish love to eat this thing right now. I don't know why, but they're really keying in on that. So that's one thing that they really like. So yeah, either I'm rocking a, a little spoon on the bottom or a jig and wrap. In a jig and wrap usually in either, I believe a size, I don't know what size it is. I think it's the smallest jig and wrap or the second smallest in gold. So that's kind of what we're doing for our rig. It's called the slider rig. Um, if you guys don't know how to rig that up, you can look it up. There should be some videos on that. Um, or if you wanted me to make one, I'd be happy to do that if you want to let me know down in the comments. But that's what we're using today. And I'm going to keep fishing, try to catch a little, couple more because we've got nine so far. And uh, obviously a limit of whitefish is 10 per person. So. Nice. Slider again. Whew. There we go, there we go. They were working me so hard. There were so many. Finally. Finally. Things were kind of teasing me. I hate how they sometimes. Oh, oh, he's back, he's back. I hate how they sometimes leave so quick. Yeah, they do. They come in hot. Yeah. Come on, they're, they're here though. I'm guessing it's the same one. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Watch your hand. Thank you. I bet it was the same one the whole time. And he hits on the, the spoon this time. He's back, he's back. Oh, that time he bit. Oh yeah, that's a good one. This is too fun. Oh, he popped. Oh, nuts. I, uh, I kind of felt that he was really writhing around. I think that was a good one. Come on. Oh. So this is what we ended up getting today. 10.